Hey, beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me again here for your reading. This is going to be a July message for you overall. Okay. Um, but energy is fluid. It comes, it goes, it ebbs, it flows. So it's important for you to use your own discernment when viewing these videos. And also remember, this is a very general collective Aquarius placement reading. So if you're interested in a more personal reading, Find my information below and we will gladly set you up, schedule you and book you for a personal reading. All right. But your overall energy. Happy ending. Beautiful energy is very sunny and bright. Some of you could feel some type of glow up in this season. OK, with the 93 breaking down to the 12 and the 12 breaking down to the three. I feel that your guys, your ancestor masters, your ascendant masters, your most high God, your angels, they're around you. They're helping you. They're giving you some type of happy completion as well. Okay. When one door closes, another opens. It's happening for your greatest and highest good. If you are feeling something like that going on. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read this card for you. There's some type of glow up. This is feeling healthy. It's feeling happy. It's feeling abundant. It's feeling vitalized. It's feeling healthy. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's see. So you can have clarity regarding this card here. This card serves as confirmation that a very happy ending is right around the corner for you, even if it seems ludicrous and impossible at this present moment in time. A favorable outcome awaits you and is well within your reach. Since you attract what you are, you bring yourself good fortune when you are happy, Aquarius. Therefore, you will attract your positive outcomes sooner by being joyous in the here and in the now. That is by acting as if what you want has already come to pass. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to focus on the majority of Focus the majority of your attention on the outcome you desire rather than the outcome that you fear. Since you attract what you think about the most, when you focus on your dreams, you can make those dreams come true at this time. Dismiss all logic, Aquarius, and reason so that you see the miracles beyond and know that you live in a very magical universe where it pays to believe and it pays to dream. All right. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust, adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm of cycles in your life. These cycles that are leading you towards a very happy ending. Be grateful for the happiness to come and remain optimistic and hopeful at this time because it only gets better from here, Aquarius. You are mere moments away from the outcome that you deserve. The affirmation, I have faith that a happy ending is right around the corner for me. I have faith that a happy ending is right around the corner for me. This is what your guides want you to know, okay? Under this card, bottom of the deck, abundance. So again, abundance looks different to everybody. Um, but the eights, right? 88. Okay. It talks about balance. It talks about interconnectedness and knowing that all things are connected. What goes around comes around. Okay. I do feel this energy that something is coming full circle. This is a time where you could be feeling more love. You could be feeling an expansion in your friendships, in your groups. You could be feeling more love in your relationship, more connected to family or friends. These could be new people coming into your life to replace the old. Again, we do have a happy ending. So whatever is closing out is for your greatest and highest good. Okay, Aquarius? Abundance is what you are to expect. Expect the very best, all right? So thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, and shares. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you for your super chats and donations. I'm going to put this music that's playing in the background down below in case you want to listen to it on your own. It is music available on YouTube. It is um, balancing out the seven chakras and healing. Okay. It is to boost your aura. All right. So let's see. Spirit angels and ancestors. Let's get right into it for Aquarius. 
for those who I'm resonating with. What is the message, please? What's the message for Aquarius in July? The most important message with love, truth, and guidance for Aquarius Nation. Let's see. One card at a time, please, spirit. For Aquarius Nation. Oh, way too many. Okay. All right. The first card you have out here is all about your goals. Capricorn energy. So you can have Capricorn in your chart significantly. Um, this reading is for Aquarius placements. So you can actually be a Capricorn sun with a lot, you know, one, two, or many Aquarius placements or vice versa. All right. All are welcome here. Um, yeah. So you're going to be dedicated to achieving. Okay. Your goals and your day-to-day -day reality of what you want will be brought into focus. You're going to be utilizing the most business-like um, way of uh, communicating, thinking, you know, being very agile. All right. This is an indication that you will land on your feet. The thing is, is that when it shows up with the red on the top, I feel like that is a reversal. This, these cards, reversals are not bad. It's just something you need to be aware of, okay? So you could be hyper-focused on your goals. You could be hyper-focused on having balance, okay? Um, you could be hyper-focused on releasing something so you can have a free hand to do something else, such as your craft, your hobbies, hanging out, you know, connecting with new friends, connecting with new groups, connecting with... Um, people in your community and they don't have to be new but I am getting the sense of new because of the happy ending energy take it as it resonates in your life all right um yes but there will be results that um how do I want to say that Some of you, you're tired of listening to the rules. <laughs> so I kind of get that. Like, you're going to do it your way. Okay? You want to do things your way. You don't want to be restricted. Okay, there's something like that here. This is what I feel. So you may be very charming. Okay, you may be very charming, very businesslike, very compromising, very negotiating to get what it is that you want. <laughs> okay, Spirit God Source may be showing you the way on how to do this. But your priority list is going to be at play here. You're going to be looking at certain things like, yep, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I need to take the action to do this. Okay, I feel like you have been contemplating. ruminating on what it is that you know whatever this focus is you've been doing this for a while and the way that it, you have been going about it for some reason i'm feeling that um things may have gotten overwhelming or things there's some kind of conundrum like you're up in the air about something okay and now you're going to rearrange or do something in a new way all right i do feel spirit is saying keep your eyes on the prize you know, focus on the things that you do want and not the fears, right? So this Capricorn full moon that just passed, the strawberry moon, may have got snapped you out of a certain way of doing things, okay? Because it seems to me that you were dedicated to achieving all the while, but you were focusing on it in a fixed, in a fixed way. Now you're going to be moving more in a cardinal way, which is the starter, okay? The go-getter, the captain of your own ship, that type of thing, all right? So if you find that certain daily routines are not working for you, you're rearranging, yeah. that's This card here has been out for quite a while, okay? If you've been following me, you've seen me brought this card out, bring this card out, okay? Um, but this is all about balance, peace, harmony, okay? Um, alignment, all right, but in a very grounded earth energy kind of way, all right? It's not 
you know, all up in the air and indecisive. No, you're turning the corner when it comes to that kind of thing. You may even be turning the corner when it pertains to um, how you've been doing something or how you've been viewing something or how you've been communicating something or how you've been talking to yourself about something. OK, um, so, yeah, there's some type of internal transformation that is happening with you. I feel that you've taken some time to meditate, concentrate, focus, and, and ruminate over something. And you may have found your balance. You may have found the right way to do it. Spirit God Source may be showing you that with this um, sunny energy here. But yeah, peace, okay? Balance. You're freeing up your hand so that you'll be able to do something. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, you may have felt overwhelmed with the things that you already had on your plate. And now you're rearranging, reorganizing, or re-strategizing or tweaking something where now you're going to be able to handle everything, okay? It just, it's just a matter of what that is for you in your life. It could be relationships. It could be business. It could be any part of your life. You may want to free your hand so that you can do something else, right? So you won't be constricted. Like It's like you're going to land on your feet here, okay? Um, I don't know if you're noticing these other cards, but all of these, these two were out, okay? This one has been out for about two weeks, maybe three. This one has been out for at least a week. And so this is the cash of fusion. Again, earth energy, all right? Doing what pleases you in a different way, a healthier way, a more balanced way, a more stable way, all right? It's almost like you're going to perfect something with the help of your guides, maybe even with the help of a new person, because we do have the two of cups that I just brought out today in the meditation. My guy said, bring out another card to go with the queen of pentacles. You're going to be aligning with like-minded people. Okay. These are people who want to bring you love, who want to support you, who want to cheer for you. These are people who are like-minded, kindred spirits. Okay. This could even be business, new contracts, new agreements. This could be love, friendship, whatever it is for you. Take it as it resonates. I'm hearing roar and soar. Roar and soar. Okay. Some of you, you may be setting the record straight, but I do feel you landing on your feet no matter what. <laughs> All right. Agile energy, flexible and adaptable, but it's more like you're chipping away at something. You're climbing that mountain. You won't give up. You're focused. You're dedicated. Okay. And you're going to land on your feet. You're going to rise to the occasion. All right. Let's see. In July. What else is here? Let the cards fall, please, for, for Aquarius placements that I'm resonating with. You could be dealing with another earth sign. You could be cheering them on, helping them land on their feet. I don't know. All right. Now we have the fifth house. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful energy. This is definitely love. Okay. It's your creations. It's the fun stuff. Okay. This is the fun group. All right. Gemini, yes. Gemini, lots of talking, fun. So you're going to be where the action is, okay, Aquarius? All right. Now, this is also coming out with the red on top. And again, it's just an awareness, right? It's, it's awareness. There's a yin and a yang to everything. There's balance to everything, okay? There's... You know, the light and the dark, it's everything is here, okay? So there's something here um, about your children. It says, with the trust of a child. So children may be very important to you at this time. There's also fun, romance, and and making art. Some of you, you're going to be dancing, singing, having fun. Okay. You want to get out. You want to have fun. You want to be in new groups. You want to have friends and 
I don't know. Are you replacing your friends? Are you replacing your groups? Are you running into commodities like people who get you? People who make you feel comfortable, supported, and secure. People you don't mind chilling with and having fun with. But there's something that's, um, it says doing it dramatically. Okay, so you could be making some type of announcement. You could be create, creating music or creating an app or creating, I don't know. You're making some type of announcement is what I'm feeling. Or somebody's making an announcement to you. Or there's some type of dramatic exit or some type of dramatic entrance. Some of you, you may be pulling your money out of something or pulling your energy out of something that you have put a lot of investment in. You knew that it was a gamble, but it's like, yeah, you're landing on your feet, okay? This could have been love. This could have been a friendship. This could have been a relationship of some sort, even in business. It's like... I went about it a certain way. It's not working for me. I'm changing things around. I'm reorganizing, re-strategizing, rearranging. But uh, you could even be making something, like creating something that you've already been you already been putting in time, effort, and energy. But you're making more of a splash. Like it's more dramatic. It's more seen. It's more. It's more out there. It's more pronounced. Okay? And I feel it's, there's some type of dramatic um, some type of dramatics here. Okay? Um, you took a risk on something. Um, it feels like it was love driven. It was heart driven. Um, but it's like I knew it was a gamble, but I, I just rolled the dice. OK, and now I feel that you are doing it differently. You're landing on your feet, though, whatever it is. I don't know why I'm seeing Taurus here. I'm also seeing Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. Let's see. But it's time for you to expand, okay? Explore. Spirit God Source wants to expand your territory, definitely. Um, and how do we expand? We expand by learning, growing, elevating, evolving. So we wouldn't be doing the same experiences. We would have to create more experiences because there's only a certain um, ceiling that we can we can we can only grow so far with the past experience. So we need we need to keep learning more. We need to keep experiencing more. All right. Some of you, you look beautiful. Okay. You just really glowed up and and it's like I don't care what nobody says. Some of you, your confidence is really shining through here. All right. And it's it's very nice, okay? Capricorn is like a librarian energy, like they, you know, they're a little bit mysterious in that way. But once you get to know them, they're like a part of the fun group, okay? They got jokes. They're not always, you know, serious and stoic. They're not. <laughs> they have a silly side. They like to let their hair down and dance and sing and stuff like that, all right? So you could be around these type of people or like I said, you. this is you, okay? There's some type of glow up and it's like, okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm here. I've arrived. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, you could be getting attention for all different types of people too. Oh, you could be talking to a lot of different people as well. So this one came up in the upright, okay? See that? It's in the upright. The red is here. It's in the upright for me as a reader with these cards, okay? So yeah, the fourth house. What makes you feel good? Okay, cancer season, yes. All right? In July, you'll be feeling, you'll be moving more towards what makes you feel secure, what makes you feel stable, what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel supported. And your home, your um, your home, your family, or you know that group of people that means something to you, they may be in focus here. And again, 
Um, cancer energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer. All right. But yeah, I feel like you go from the fifth to the fourth. So there's something about taking back a step, taking a step back, something like that. Like I said, you're going to land on your feet. Some of you, you could be adopting a pet, a child. There could be a new child coming into your life or people coming into your home or vice versa. Roles could be reversed with life chance foes. But your community, your home base, your family, your friends, your groups, they're all in focus here. You're not doing things the way you did them in the past. You're, you're flipping it. Okay? You're rearranging, reorganizing here. And you're not going to choose. It's like maybe before you were compromising a little bit too much or something like that. Something is being brought to your attention and your judgments and your views are changing because we do have Saturn in in retrograde June 29th through like November or something look it up for yourself okay so you have the right information but yeah Saturn is the stern teacher so there could be some things coming up like testing testing one two three let's see did you learn from that did you learn from this You're not going to be doing things as you did in the past. Um, don't do things as you have in the past. There's something about tweaking it. You're not going to be choosing. You're not going to be chasing. You're going to be doing something different. You're going to do what makes you feel good and support it. Yeah, fifth house. And it's like it's coming out in the reverse because this is what this is one of the lessons. Have fun, okay? Maybe you've been a workaholic. It's time for you to do something more, okay? Expand your world here. Yes, you can take care of your business. I know, you know, some people are like, what? I don't have time for fun. I work, I work, I work, I work. Okay, well, keep working. But I'm telling you, Spirit God Source is going to bring where... Spirit God Source knows how to meet us where we are, <laughs> Okay? There are going to be new people in some shape, form, or fashion. Groups, like I said, you could be um, adopting a pet, rescuing a pet. Um, somebody may need your assistance or your help. Um, you're going to be expanding your world. Spirit is going to do that for you in some shape, form, or fashion. Okay? You could be bringing in a child um, or something like that. Yeah, see? Freedom. Absolutely. Spirit wants you to free up your space, free up your time, do something in a different way here. All right. With the 11th house again, fun groups. And that's your your card. The 11th house is your card. It's Aquarius. You rule society groups. Your circle of friends. OK, some of you, you're going to be um, I don't know why I'm hearing comedian. Like you got jokes, okay? You're going to have everybody laughing or you're going to have an urge to, you know, plan a trip, do something with your friends, your groups, or you're going to be branching out into different networks, okay? Doing different things, okay? Getting into different hobbies, maybe even picking up something you did before, which is very soothing, relaxing. A lot of you, this is a lot of music, fun, um, like-minded people. Okay. I don't want, I don't know why I'm hearing like circle line. All right. In New York city, we have something called a circle line. It's like a boat. So you could be going on a cruise. You could be going to a B and B. You could be traveling. You're doing some things that is, it's fun. Okay. And it's not because you want to do this for the future. You want to live in the moment, in the here, in the now. All right? You may be getting um, a new home. There could be something about an HOA here. Yeah, but it's the energy of freedom, freedom, freedom. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, it's like rock and roll, dude. <laughs> something like that. Like, there's music here also. All right. <clears throat> You could be creating some type of, I don't know, are you creating a party or putting a party together or 
something that's fun and light and exciting. Maybe you're going on vacay with your children or something about children is very important here. Maybe you're standing up for someone or someone is standing up for you. Because I'm hearing roar and soar, okay? Rock and roll, all right? Uh, let's see. What's going on here, please, spirit, angels, and ancestors for the viewer that I'm resonating with? Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as soon as I saw this card, though, I heard, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening all over this land. I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out warning. I'd hammer out the love between my brother and my sister all over this land. You could be working together but with others, okay? But Eight of Pentacles. There's something secretly that you've been wanting to do or you've been creating, okay, behind the scenes also. You've been very dedicated to this. You've been um, working on this behind the scenes, okay? Very meticulous energy, very focused and dedicated. Um, this could be you leveling up as well, okay, Aquarius? Like you are, somebody may be a computer programmer or a tech, yeah, on the worldwide web energy here there's some type of great achievement you're gonna land on your feet boy oh boy when i tell you you are stepping through to this new cycle here and i feel like you're just hammering out some details or you're you're making something work for you something is working out for you okay and there's going to be some type of closure some type of happy ending here where you can start something new you could focus on something else besides this. Something that you have been trying to figure out for a while or that you've been focused on. Like I said, there's there's some type of energy here where um, maybe you're finally seeing the results of your hard work. Or you're finally getting approval. Or you're finally getting you know closure on this matter. Or something is coming full circle and it's been going on for a long time. Maybe even up to a year here. Something has been going on. Okay, but you've been fixed on this. Okay, the world has all of the fixed signs. You've been really focused and dedicated to this thing. Okay, but you're going to land on your feet is what I keep feeling. All right, yes, yeah, six of pentacles. Everything is in balance now. Everything is in balance. Okay, beautiful energy. You're freeing up your hand. Remember I said that? You're going to free up your hand. Now you're going to be able to do something with the other hand. <laughs> okay? It's like you've gotten things in order. With this scale here, maybe there was, um, maybe there's finally been some type of approval or some type of order put in place or. Maybe there's been some type of judgment passed and now everything is put in order and in its proper place and perspective. But this is like balance. This is services also, services being rendered. Some of you, you're going to receive some type of gift or, or some type of charity. I will, excuse me. I also feel something is being returned. Somebody may have like... There may have been some type of clerical error and it's being it's being corrected. Because what I was envisioning, like in my mind's eye, I see like a shipment or a package being given to you, but it's addressed to somebody else. So because you made the right decision, because you didn't just keep it and you did the right thing with the scales here, um, it's like, I don't know. 
did you complete some type of karmic cycle? It's like something that you're you doing or something that you did or something that you're doing in July is going to clear your karma. And now things pick up and get back back in balance. You feel better. You, you know, like everything is in alignment. All right. I also feel like you're being given some type of charity and it may come through people. All right. Now, maybe this is the, the universe repaying you by having your services, you know, <laughs> be seen all over the, the globe, all over the world, all over the Internet or something like that. But it's like it's it's happening in a big way. It's very dramatic, whatever this is. Some of you, maybe your child is getting a reward or getting a scholarship or you know how they say when you do something for God, watch how God repays you through your family, through your friends, through your through you. It's something like that. But it's very big. It's more than you can imagine. And I feel like it's coming in various different ways. OK, you're going to receive invites. You're going to have some dates. You're going to be having fun, dancing, moving, singing, jazz, a painting, museums, anything that is fun, concerts, movies, whatever you're into. OK, you could even be going to a casino and you get a big payout and that's dramatic. Like. I'm going to definitely be getting some type of money here. And I feel like whatever this is, it's going to make you feel so good. Okay. It makes you feel safe. It makes you feel secure. It makes you feel supported. It makes you feel like, wow, you know, what did I do to deserve this? Like Spirit God Source is paying you in full here in some way for some of you. Some of you, this is a second source of income. All right. Some of you, you're going to have your, your choice here. Like. Maybe you filled out an application or two or three or five or 10 and you hear back from two different companies and you need to choose. OK. And remember this said no matter how ludicrous, no matter how, um, you know, ridiculous it may seem or ludicrous or out of this world, it may seem you're going to get a beautiful Resolve. You're going to get a beautiful, happy ending. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like you don't even have to have um, all of the requirements. It's like, okay, here we choose you, but it's due to your, your good deeds is what I want to say. Like you're landing on your feet. I don't know. You know, I don't know how else to say this. Okay. Yeah, the tower suddenly, suddenly it has happened to me right in front of my face and I just cannot hide it. Finally, oh, finally, yeah, yeah, oh, baby. <laughs> Some of you. This is about um, your home. Something is happening. Maybe you suddenly get approval for a home. Remember I said I was hearing HOA. Maybe you're finally getting an approval. Maybe something finally went through. Okay, maybe your application is being put um, through or maybe you are being reached out to. And they're saying, hey, just give me these documents. Give me this um, paperwork or give me this information. And it's like it's happening out of the blue, but you give them what you have and that's still OK. Like something like that. There's also an energy where somebody may be moving into your house. <laughs> OK, somebody may be something is unexpectedly falling in your lap. It's in your house, fourth house. And you're going to make something or someone feel safe, secure, loved. Okay, a pet, a child, children, a friend in need.
but you're going to do if this is something that has happened already in the past you're going to do it differently again you're not doing anything the exact same way that you did it in the past you're doing something differently all right for some of you like i said these are your past deeds coming back um and it just wipes the slate clean and you're able to do something um i don't know okay you're able to get these rewards all right these gifts But Spirit is saying, do whatever makes you feel secure, okay? Don't play somebody else's game. Play your own game here, all right? Don't follow the leader. Do things the way you want to do them. Follow your own intuition with the four house energy here, all right? Do what makes you feel free. Do what makes you feel happy. Do what makes you feel good. And go along with those who make you feel supported. Not those split floppy people. One minute they're like this. They're not talking to you. And the next minute, boom, here they are. No. I feel like you're getting some type of unexpected reward, honor, um, success, abundance, gift, money, something, job, house, home. Um, somebody could be visiting you unexpectedly, okay? Let's see. What else is here, please? Let the cards fall as they may with this freedom. Somebody may unexpectedly appear um, in front of you. Let's get the card here for this, please, Spirit. This Uranus energy with the freedom. What is here for Aquarius, please? Clear and accurate message. There's way too many cards, Spirit. Can I please have just one card? What's going on here for Aquarius? One card, Spirit, please. you there could be an unexpected move and you gift your house your apartment your place to someone else this is like all happening unexpectedly so maybe you have to move and someone else is in need and you you know you sign it over to them or like you're doing something very unexpectedly or something unexpected is happening um but I feel like it's an even exchange, okay? You help somebody and the universe helps you. This is like you have $8, for example. You have $8, you give somebody 6 You have $80, you give somebody 60 You have $800 and you give someone um, $600. Unexpectedly, it gets given back to you uh, tenfold or something like that. Okay, or you you get you get your you get this gift of um, a great job or a luxurious home or you know you win a trip and you're gone for like <laughs> uh, six weeks you know a trip around the world or something like that like it's something dramatic um, and very like wow for real that happened to you okay. Yeah, Five of Wands is coming out here. Bumbled. So this could be a lot of different people fighting for the same thing, competing for the same thing. Or there's some type of beef that's squashed. Okay, what's this? Wow. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. I feel like the heart and the mind are on the same. They are in alignment. Somebody is at peace. This is this could be the um, conflict, the drama, the envy, the this, the that, and the other with the five of wands. Okay, so like Spirit said, um, 
focus on what you do want and not what you don't want. I feel like everything is coming into balance and harmony for you. You're free. The associates coming towards you, they are very similar to you. Like they don't give you no... Yeah, with the Queen of Cups, this is very empathetic. It's loving, it's kind, it's sweet. It's Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, I'm getting Cancer, though. I'm also getting the energy that somebody is compromising. They are fair. They are... Okay, I apologize. So, yeah, it looks like you're very balanced here. Or you could be having new people come into your life. You could have a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius come in. It's like um, there's no fighting. There's no arguing. There's This is like drama free. You can find freedom and peace with this circle of friends. Okay, so you could be meeting two new people that could be significant in your life, in your groups. Yeah, oh, Ace of Cups, yes. <laughs> this is a new sensation. This is love. This is cheering. This is having fun. You may not, you, you, you may not ever want to separate from these people. These could be long life friends. You could create together. You can build together. All right. <clears throat> you could be right here. Like, yes. Okay. Beautiful energy. See, spirit angels and ancestors. Let's put this ace of cups where we can see it. Somebody could really want to hear from you here, Aquarius. Okay, let's see. What is this about? If this is about love, what is this about? Music, <laughs> harmony music making good music together hanging out having fun you could be opening up a shop creating a podcast you could be um putting out song you could be writing lyrics you could be in complete harmony with some people okay somebody could front you some money and you could open up a club or a clubhouse or something like that Something to do with, yeah. Some of you, you're going to be listening to a lot of music. Look at this. New love is coming in. There's also this energy here about your words, okay? You may be singing, praying, chanting, creating um, affirmations or subliminal messages through music, okay? Because I'm hearing a siren call, all right? New love is here, Aquarius. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Some of you, you could end up really taking this all the way, all right? You could have a lot in common with this person if that's what you're looking for. I mean, we do have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? If this is about money and career, what is this saying? What is this talking about for Aquarius? Oh, you could be doing cookouts. You could be a cook, a chef in the restaurant business in catering. Okay. But yeah, you could be finding the tools that you need. This is like eating well, living well. You could be the sole provider creating your own business here. You might need some helpers with these business tools. Please bring out more for Aquarius. Let's see. The sword. There's a breakthrough here. Some of you, you could be leaving a job, okay? You may be in two minds about leaving somewhere and going somewhere else. There could be someone who is involved with the law, law and order, okay? Somebody who... Uh, helps you to understand rules, regulations, bylaws, and things like that. There's also this energy of universal law and universal order. Spirit God Source is coming to your defense, helping you to, to make more. Let's see, one more card. 
if you had some type of pay cuts and stuff like that. Remember when I said Capricorn energy, you may have been doing something one way and you're going to be figuring out a way to do it differently where it works better for you. So you can free up your hands and do some more stuff. Okay, so I feel there's an energy here where there's new people coming in or you could be going for training, a certificate, a licensure. Some of you, you're going to know that it's time for you to leave something behind with the world card. You may be thinking about doing something online. You want to make sure that you have your copyrights in order. You want to make sure that you have everything in order, okay? So people don't steal your stuff. Another card here, please, for Aquarius. The clover, excuse me, a lucky break, gamble, good fortune, a chance, taking a chance on you, finances, outdoor, risky business, and surprises. Some of you, you may be, I don't know, doing something new when it pertains to your money. It may be a gamble. It may be like stock market, bonds, okay, money market. I don't know, some type of investments, Bitcoin, I don't know, okay, crypto. It could be... Um, your business plans but there's a lucky break that's going to happen here with the breakthrough energy coming in as well and then you're going to be locked in you're going to be doing the most you're going to be all in okay you're going to seal the deal you're going to make good negotiations you're going to you're going to be locked in okay so you want to make sure that you're getting involved with what you want now there's also this gift of money that is coming through here as well you may need to sign some paperwork. Some of you, you're creating a book. You're creating a book or a business proposal and you will be you will be locked in. You're going to stay put. This is what you're going to do, okay? Some of you, you're going to get into some type of business where it's music and theater and arts and crafts and things like that. But this is what I have for you. Until next time, take care and be well.